Well, the festivities are still ongoing in the arena here in Lyon as we've just finished the second competition in the Longines FEI World Cup final. Well, tonight the Americans came good. A disappointing start yesterday, but today it all changed. And Kent Farrington on Voyeur of the United States set a time that no one could get close to. Now, look at the turn here. Ooh, Ooh. a real turn. He's in front. Two seconds Two in front. Two seconds in front. But still nine to the last, and a galloper. Oh, 39.69 for Kent Farrington. Great finish for tonight. Uh, I, you know, I was happy with my horse no matter where he ended up. But, uh, you know, it's always great to win, and I'm really excited to have that horse back in the game. Now, you were, ba you were jumping with the world's best out there. Nerve-wracking jump off? Um, you know, I, I try to do my own plan and not and not really get wrapped up in points and uh, and all of those things. You know, the horse naturally goes very fast by himself, and I have to watch that I don't try to make him go even faster than he's already going. So that that's sort of my strategy. Plan for Monday. Uh, see how the standings look after today, and then we'll you know we'll make a decision going forward. And the two rounds on Monday is that something that that suits you for a competition? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I think it's a special horse. He's careful. He, he tries his heart out. He just he hasn't been back jumping at this level for a while. So I don't know that he's that he's so fit for that level. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how he feels after today. In second place, Swiss rider Steve Gerdat, who let's not forget, has been bidding to win this title so many times and so close to it, and he's edged himself that bit closer tonight. In third place reigning title holder from 12 months ago, BZ Madden, also for the United States. She finished on third, so she has pushed herself up the leaderboard going into Monday. Last night I thought uh, I, I thought my horse jumped great. Um, I had a little bit awkward jump at fence three, added a stride and then tried to make some time up. I made a tight turn back to an oxer and uh, didn't really support it enough and he had the back rail there, but that was my fault. And uh, I thought the horse was great and today he was fantastic. So. And we have a double clear with a fast jump off on your own second. You must be delighted. Very happy. Um, you know, it's gonna. There were a lot in the jump off, and I had to just take a good shot, and uh, worked out so far. So whilst Kent Farrington celebrates his success, the real story unfolds with what happens on Monday, because now when you look at the penalties going into the final competition, we've got Steve Gerdat, Olympic champion, on zero penalties level with our host nation rider, Patrice Delaveau. In fourth place, fourth equal, Ludger Beerbaum, BZ Madden and Pierre Schwitzer, or all on four penalty points. So really, one fence splits the top seven going into the competition on Monday. It's very, very close here in Lyon for the Longines FEI World Cup final. Tomorrow sees the culmination of the Rimacra FEI World Cup dressage and at 13.30 is the dressage to music. Don't miss that because the wonderful Vallegro with Charlotte Dujardin from Great Britain will be performing a new routine tomorrow. Then on Monday at 13.55 we bring you live the last round of the Longines FEI World Cup final. It's going to be a great weekend. So from me, Phil Gazala, it's good night from a very hectic and a lovely Lyon. Good night.